here we go again. Ben Weeks Bonanza Pilot and Stanley Weeks that's not really Bonanza Pilot yet. We're off to get two C-35s. This is very familiar. also have no idea what kind of condition these are in so we're kind of going in blind they gave us a deal that indicated that they wanted them gone and so whatever we get is what we get we'd like I don't know why we shouldn't even say this we'll just we're just setting ourselves up for disappointment but we'd like to have one that we could fix up to actually fly again if possible uh, we don't need to fly we have enough airplanes already but there are people around us that would I'm sure like it a good price on an aircraft if we get it up and running again so we'll see worst case scenario maybe we get a spare prop and uh, engine combo or something so yeah we'll see when we get there all righty it is dark so I apologize for the graininess here um, my iPhone is brightening this up so you can actually see it a lot better it's brighter in the footage than it is in person. So here's the airplane. Prop is over here. It's an electric prop. I think 88 inch I believe. It's got the rounded ends. I didn't measure it though. Um, doesn't look like it's ever been used. The paint's faded. Probably old. Who knows when the last time was it was overhauled. But there's no chipping in the paint or anything along the leading edge that would indicate that it had ever been used. So it may have been overhauled, stuck on, and then never flown. It was loose when we got there. Now, obviously there's some corrosion and stuff, but it's all just surface level that I think could be cleaned off pretty easily. Probably if we sent this off, had it magnafluxed and all new rubber seals and everything, um, we probably have a really decent 88 inch prop here. Uh, we've got the wing bolts pulled off. Well, we have them off on the left wing almost. Stanley's working on the two bottom ones now. We got the two top ones loose. Um, yeah, this one uh, didn't have any control surfaces, which is what we expected. The engine, though, apparently this is the engine, if I remember correctly, that only has less than 200 hours on it, which the cylinders look, the paint looks almost brand new. There's no heat um, discoloration or anything from it being ran, so I wouldn't be a bit surprised if this was a really low-time engine. Again, who knows at this point what shape it's in. Um, crankshaft is real. Kind of a mess that could probably be cleaned up by the map. I bet it could be cleaned up easily. Um, nose gear, this is just up because the weight's off, but it's actually pretty much collapsed. Uh, tires are all flat as can be, as you'd expect. Um, there's tin foil and stuff wrapped around the gear. Someone had been planning on painting this. This is why it's stripped. Um, it would be cool if this could be like a polished bird, but it looks like there's so much Bondo along the wings and stuff here that. There's no way that could really happen. Um, but the interior looks pretty cool. Um, it's pretty clean, actually. I mean, it needs to be cleaned up. There's dust and everything. Uh, seats and stuff are over there. It's so dark, you're not going to be able to see much. Um, oh, I don't want this to fall off. but And you won't be able to see anything because it's dark. But whatever, we got all the interior out. Um, decent gauges. They look pretty new. Again, I think someone was planning on getting this thing airworthy again. That's why they had it painted and stuff. I don't know if they sent the control surfaces off to be stripped and repainted or what. Um, but when we got here, we noticed that our trailer, even though, okay, Oklahoma and Texas have the worst roads I've ever driven on in my life. It was insane. Uh, it was so bumpy, so terrible. Uh, we actually broke a leaf spring uh, on the back axle. Um, these, are, these are mobile home axles, right? Um, so I don't know exactly what this designation is. That apparently it's a standard mobile home axle type. Um, but we'd have to somehow 
rigged this up to where we were just running on two axles, which we'd rather not do carrying two airplanes. So I don't know if any of you guys on Vintage Bonanza or Beach Talk or anywhere would by any chance be able to come by some springs if you had any lying around. Um, we might be able to find a supplier, like a tractor place or something near us. But if any of you had one of those just lying around, there's an airport right here that you could uh, fly to if you're near Hamilton, Texas. And shoot, I forget what this, this is a municipal airport there, I forget what the designator is. I'll have that information when I post the video. But again, we can probably make it work, but man, it would be a huge help if somebody would be able to fly down. You could check out these airplanes. Uh, it'd be cool to meet you. Um, it would really help us out because one way or another, we really need to get that third axle up and running again. But anyways, uh, this is the, um, the stripped Bonanza. We're going to hopefully have that loaded tonight. And then tomorrow we're going to work with the other ones way down there. Um, and I'll tell you guys all about that later. Um, more details on that. Uh, but this was just a quick video to show you guys what we're doing. And then also to tell you about our ailments with the trailer. So anyways, you guys have a good night and clear skies, fellas. Nice. One more thing we can add to the list next time. Okay, spare trailer spring. Yeah. It's literally the only part of the trailer I didn't bring. Spare, I've got hubs, wheels. So as you can see, we uh, are using the rear wing bolt holes, and we have our roller, our flimsy roller that has hauled us. dollar wing bolt wrench. Yeah. Tool. Whatever. Whatever size that That's is. That's all you need. 9 16ths. 9 16ths. And then whatever the other one is. I think that's a 13 sixteenths. Yeah. Or 3 quarter. Alright, so this one's good to go. There she is. Happy day. Alright, now for the other one. Front one takes a whole different set of tools. It's a 5 eighths and 7 9 sixteenths. That's just behind the stupid jack. I may have to get the front broke loose first. Front is a 7 eighths. Three quarter. That's also going to be tight and sandy. We just heard horror stories about wing bolts not breaking loose, but hasn't happened to us it. yet. Oh, I think it may have just come out. Approaching 11 o'clock. FAA approved tire iron. Oh, yeah, definitely. For a cheater bar. Oh, is it not gonna? Let's go into that sheet metal.
status report. We uh, just stayed at an overpriced hotel last night. Got a few precious hours of sleep. We were up until just a little bit before midnight getting these trips. Bonanza wings pulled off and getting the rollers on it. So it's ready to go get uh, winched onto the trailer. We, had, we forgot to bring an air compressor and so we don't have any ways of airing up the tires. So we'll see if, how that nose wheel goes without having any air in it. Um, and so then we'll just get that loaded on the front and then hopefully get the other one, the wings pulled off and have that loaded on the back with the rollers on it. But yeah, it was, it was a little bit of work getting that one off. Working in the dark was kind of inconvenient, but uh, we got it done. So hopefully today goes a little smoother. And hopefully there'll be a little more footage because you'll actually be able to see something. So, you have anything to add, Stanley? Yeah, have something to add. We'll see you guys at the airport. Now that the sun has risen, you can kind of get an idea of where we're at. Got the rollers on it. Wings are off. We had limited issues, but some stuff we had to cut the stupid flap cable. We couldn't get it to come loose off the flap motor. Other than that, everything's taken off without any real damage. A nice 88 inch electric prop here. It looks like it hasn't been used since overhaul. Uh, just needs a little cleaning up. But aside from that, it's looking in a nice shape. Now that it's daylight, I can get you a little sneak peek at the interior. Which is all pulled out because we were getting the wings off. But, uh, yeah, that's what you're looking at. Pretty basic stuff. But, uh, nice gauges, really. Better than ours, for sure, on either of our airplanes. The rear spar. Here's all the miscellaneous parts. You finally got another stinking tow bar. I have six airplanes, and now two tow bars yeah this one apparently this is a C model but it does not have the, the tail cuff which is part of an AD on these larger tails they had to uh, add a cuff because they were having issues with torsional forces tearing the tails up um, but this one does not have it complied with I don't see any rivet holes or anything so it's probably gonna end up being a blessing though because I think we're gonna have to take the stabilators off of this one and it probably would be a pain if we had to draw out the rivets, so. Of course, it might still be a pain. We'll see. Yeah, anyways, we're about to get it loaded on the trailer, so we'll see what happens. All right, so here's the method. This is a kind of a junky trailer here, but here's the method we're using to get these loaded. Now this one's going to get loaded first, obviously, that's why we have it full apart. And we have this winch junkie contraption here that we will chain to each side of the trailer. And we'll use that to pull it forward. Um, and then we can actually use it, the same chain to pull it forward. When we have this other airplane, we have the first airplane up against the front of the trailer. We'll then have to still chain it back behind the trailer. And that's why we used a, a mobile winch setup. That way we could move it anywhere on the trailer and use it to pull. So we're gonna pull that one up first. Hopefully it somewhat rolls with a flat nose wheel. We'll see. And uh, then probably get the tail ripped off or whatever. And carry on to number two.
down back there I guess. Can you come forward just a hair? Hey, come forward a hair. It's, it's tied down. Alright.
having to document every step of our journey here.
again until the next one. That was insane. And we both about got a heat stroke out there, even though we were drinking probably gallons of water. Uh, we got loaded up. I don't know what our time was. I haven't calculated it. Don't really care. It was, it was hard. It was difficult. That was definitely the hardest experience we've had hauling airplanes. So hopefully we get them home and they're dangling behind us on the trailer. So anyways, headed back to Missouri. Have you ever wanted to learn to fly to see the world from a new perspective? Has the idea of flying one of these been a life goal of yours or something you just came up with? Hi, my name is John. I am the owner and founder of Elevation Adventures Online Ground School. And I wanna personally invite you to join me in this amazing journey. In our online ground school, you will meet with an instructor in small class sizes or even one-on-one -on -one to learn everything you need to pass your FAA written test, the oral portion of your practical check ride, and to be a safe, competent pilot so you can really enjoy everything that is aviation. 